What's up, girl? Gosh. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 56, part two. If you're listening to us on the podcast, thanks for continuing to listen. And if you're following us on YouTube, we appreciate it. You can find most of our social media, Faith and Whatever, at Josh underscore Carmen, at Marion Ranch, at T Student Life, at Jamothy, James Y U I L E. Sub James. Uh, he's not here today. Sub James. Uh, <laughs> I'm Rick James. No, I'm not going to finish that. Nope. So uh, we wanted to have this video be uh, a little bit of a update yeah. on kind of what's been going on for Faith and Whatever for the past year. Faith and uh, Whatever 2017. Yeah, so it's kind of the state of Faith and Whatever. So we know that we've grown. I mean, a lot for us since then. And Leaps so and bounds when you, when you, yeah. I mean, starting at zero, we're at 142 subs as of this recording. And we have, uh, are we really up? Think positive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I don't miss those. Uh, Cause I watch them like a hawk and yeah, I pray I for an uptick do. every day. Um, and we're up to, I don't know, 400 and something people that are liking us and following us on Facebook in our community. And so we've, we've had a lot of fun doing these videos for the past year. And so we wanted to take some time for people who are a little bit newer to the channel uh, or who may be catching over this the first time, you know, and aren't familiar uh, with where we want to go and what we want to do we and started. kind of what our plan is. So you want to give us a little bit of a lowdown of how we began? Yeah, so um, I uh, used to live in, in Michigan. I grew up in California, so here in Southern California. I lived in Michigan for a couple of years. I was coming back to California and kind of reconnecting with some old connections and uh, mainly just Josh. And, yeah, uh, connection. And uh, <laughs> talked to Josh, somehow ran into James Yule, who was I went to school with in college um, <clears throat> 10 years ago. And uh, they were talking about wanting to do a podcast. Like 15 and, years ago. Yeah, well, that's when I started college. Yeah. So, and I, I didn't really kept up with James at all. And um, he's just a really busy guy and uh, he's doing his own deal, you know. And uh, so um, we was sitting around in the, the uh, university library and uh, started talking about what would be fun to do a podcast. And uh, James was throwing throw around a couple ideas how we could do a podcast and a YouTube channel maybe at the same time. And um, the magic didn't happen until we hooked up with Chris. Because I was like, how are we going to well, do a podcast And this was interesting day? because like, this, was like, week? this was like less than, I don't know, maybe two or three months after you finished your studio, Chris. Yeah, and so that was like a weird, that was a, I don't know if yeah. I'd call that so a God thing. So three guys who, who, but, who worked in ministry, we all had this passion to really um, use a new media tool, communicate to um, new, that new, audience. New that's ish. Not, yeah. <laughs> Underutilized media tool? Yeah, for Christians, I think, in, yeah. a, in a lot of ways. Non-used media tool for Christians? Yeah. I mean, uh, new media as compared to, uh, I don't know, radio. Radio. Well, on the, uh, <clears throat> the Christian schedule, we're... Pretty cutting edge. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> true. <laughs> and, and, and really reach an audience of people who are out there watching funny cat videos and uh, daily yeah. vlogs, which those things are okay. Um, but here at Faith and Whatever, you can learn about faith and whatever else, like Netflix. Faith and shows. cat videos. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we only had cat videos. We'd be doing so good. So that's kind of how we got started. Oh, we should um, do a cat. And, um, <laughs> yeah, if you're down. You got yeah. a studio cat? No, to me, uh, people I know are allergic, unfortunately. Yeah, oh, me too, which would be, be cool. funny. Like a third of your <laughs> clients, like yeah. you have to put in your studio for studio record time. Yeah, and so this has been the cool thing for us, the way that we kind of seen everything work out, is Chris actually runs this as a recording studio and is super uh, booked all the time. Uh, <laughs> so be sure to hit up the uh, Marion Ranch Inquiries part of the site if you want to uh, utilize that. But The waiting list is like hours long. <laughs> <And> so uh, <laughs> basically when I wake up. Uh, <laughs> like maybe tomorrow <laughs> if you like it. So, uh, but it's been, it's been an intriguing year, and so we've been kind of getting the field down and stuff. And so we've kind of wanted to talk a little bit about where – we're hoping to go uh, yeah. and kind of what our, our future will be. So one of the things that we've realized and one of the things that we have a lot of experience in between the four of us, Christopher included, is this idea of working in the small church. Uh, and Chris, I'm sorry, Garrett and I have a little bit of experience being involved in big church uh, type stuff, mega church, 2000 members plus kind of feel. And uh, we have found that there is a spe like a very specific passion that we have as a kind of small church ministers. Uh, and one of the things that we've noticed is that with the small church comes a limit on budget in there. And so this is a big thing um, that has been near and dear to our hearts. And so we're, we're hoping over the next two years, all right, to be able to create things that will help utilize leaders in the small church. So uh, one of the things that we've talked about and that we're actually currently in, in the midst of putting together right now are having resources uh, for people to be able to utilize and people to be able to use on a Sunday or weekly basis. And so one of the neat things that that includes is um, uh, I'm putting together uh, like a 30-day devotional book right now. Uh, and we're going to sell all these things on our faithandwhatever.com for super cheap. 
Uh, they were talking a few like 48 a few, cents. I, I mean, I would, yeah. We're talking a few dollars. Know. This can idea. you even do a PayPal payment for 48 cents? Yeah, oh, yeah, you All can right, do it, or even Venmo, right? Start a faith in whatever Venmo. <laughs> Stop, uh, dude, that's a, yeah. a waste of time. Venmo's You're about great. this app, uh, <laughs> and so it's great. You can send money, uh, one of the, like something like a, like a 30 day devotional for like five dollars, right? So if yeah. you're if you are. Uh, a youth worker who's working with a student who has just become a believer, right? And you don't have a lot of money to take him through a devotional book. Uh, we're writing this curriculum that, you know, certainly biblically based, but has kind of more th- um, thought into it. That isn't just a recycling of ideas that you've heard, uh, you know, that you were growing up because obviously generations are changing faster and faster than they ever have before. And kind of what's new is becoming what's old in a couple of years. And uh, Chris, you want to tell me about the music thing that we're hoping to do? We're working on some music for maybe churches that can't afford a big band to, or to do big productions. So just uh, some nice background music that you could play when people are shuffling in or out or things like that, maybe during like a meditation or whatever. Yeah. yeah Cause licensed music is not cheap. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. And, and so minimum a dollar a song. Well, and that becomes the idea where if we can be updating like, you know, this CD procure or not a CD, but this music thing that we have basically, basically faith in whatever s- music streaming, uh, <laughs> the idea being putting new things out periodically. So stuff doesn't get stale and stuff doesn't get old and you can keep re not having to reuse the same stuff. Some of the other things that we want to put out, um, have to do. So Garrett, uh, we don't want to give too much information away on your book that you're putting together right now. Um, yeah. but even this idea of doing like a pastor's guide to social media in the yeah. future, uh, helpful tools essentially for the sake of your ministry. We just realize that there are a lot of people, we, we are in this youth pastors Facebook group, where there's like 7,000 of us and maybe, I don't know, 3,500 people talk about how it's like, I have $8 in my budget for the whole yeah, year. I have no thing. budget. I have to raise every dollar. And so we want to be able to provide these sources because we get it, man. Like there's a uh, look, there's a lot of great youth people or even not just youth, but a lot of great resource people that you can go and that you can utilize. Uh, but a lot of it's really expensive there. And we're just kind of realizing like, if you've got the money, you know, buy that because it probably comes better published and better curriculum. You know, I don't know. Yeah, Doug Field stuff is golden. Yeah. I mean, you know, that is kind of the standard, but you know, if you can't afford $30 for a new book or whatever it is, $17 for a new book yeah. there and are looking to take a student through something and you want to give it a shot. So that, that ends up being our hope for the And the cool f- thing is, is we, we, we love to interact with whoever's out there who might need these resources, whether they're church leaders or just a church member uh, who wants to suggest something. Um, you know, we're not, we're not really terribly busy, especially once we get to the studio. We just kind of chill and right, and so that and that becomes that our <laughs> that becomes our our I think our advantage is this ability of accessibility. Yeah. Uh, and, and so if you have thoughts or if you have suggestions or, or things that you are doing in your church that you need, you know, maybe a little bit of help with, please feel free to either leave a comment below uh, or, you know, email us. Uh, you can find us at faithinwhatever at gmail.com if you're listening on the podcast. Uh, and be sure to let us know what's going on because we, we have found that we've begun uh, receiving stories from people who are listening there. And it's been this really huge blessing uh, to be able to kind of experience and do life with other people, even if it's via the internet. Uh, and that's been important for us, mainly because it, it helps us keep our ear to the ground and, and our fingers on the pulse of felt needs in the church. So we want to be supportive in any way that we can. Uh, we will be continuing to, you know, run faith in whatever. And I think we've all committed to, you know, a series of years together to put some time into this and really build this this. Uh, not necessarily as a business, but hopefully as a community yeah. uh, of people who can reach in and speak into each other's lives of encouragement, of you know, uh, and, and things of that nature. So, uh, you have anything or any? Well, other I, I think one thing they'll see in 2017 is is probably going to see the faith whatever team grow a little bit with some uh, different contributions from different people yeah. who are who yep. are part of the faith whatever crew, whether that's bloggers, um, so different people contributing videos that are working on it right now. Just really, um, we hope to see faith whatever become a platform. Um, for people to leverage this tool to really share kind of their vision for uh, expanding God's kingdom through YouTube. And yeah, this this is our ultimate vision for, for faith and whatever. We would like it to become like a very specific user content driven yeah. multi, I mean, like a media company essentially yeah. that people can have a voice and come and be a part of, you know, the platform that's already got an audience for them. Uh, so we're putting in the groundwork and hopefully in five years we'll be able to look back at this video and laugh. Uh, how terribly thought out yeah. things were. And I think we could definitely make some swag. So uh, anyone who wants a free shirt, just say they want a free shirt, and then eventually we can get them one. Eventually, I mean, someday, maybe. But there's a deadline. Uh, it's March 31st, 2017. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, you know, by then, 
I thought we were done with April Fool's jokes. Oh, and shoot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you got any last thoughts, Chris? No, I do not. There. So be sure to oh, like, if, if you would, be willing to like, uh, share this video on your wall. We're good, probably going to just upload this directly to Facebook as well as YouTube so we can keep stuff kind of naked, 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 native there because that'll be important. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, share, follow us on, on all of the separate media accounts. You can find us at Faith, the letter N, whatever on Twitter. And on Instagram, we're at Faith and whatever. We're at facebook.com slash faith and whatever. Thanks so much for stopping by.